If you've had COVID-19, you could get paid to help others heal from this illness. This is a new county initiative that's underway aimed at help uh, getting people who have COVID-19 antibodies to donate their plasma, which could in turn save the lives of people suffering from severe cases of the virus. And the night team's Devin Clark tells us how that stipend program works and introduces us to a survivor who's already donated plasma five times and is now hoping this new incentive pushes others to do the same. Since she was three years old, Angela Caporale has worked to master the violin. Her skills landed her a spot in the San Antonio Symphony and gained her credibility as a local violin teacher. But this summer, the music came to a screeching halt. All of the symptoms came a little bit um, one after the other. Caporale was diagnosed with COVID-19. Then I lost my taste and I was like, uh-oh. Fortunately for Caporale, her coughing, headaches, fever, and chills only lasted about a week. I feel very, very fortunate. And she was able to pick back up her passion. But Caporale also gained a sense of fulfillment when she learned about being able to help others by donating her plasma, which was rich with COVID-19 antibodies, a treatment that has been shown to help save lives. Through her five donations, Caporale estimates her plasma has been transfused into 15 very sick patients. But Precinct 2 County Commissioner Justin Rodriguez says Caporale is in the small minority of the 40,000 or so recovered patients in our area who take the time to get screened and donate. Only hundreds of the 40,000 have actually donated plasma. Now there is an incentive to find more donors. Rodriguez says the county secured $150,000 in federal funding to be divvied up into stipends for eligible donors. You no, know, I think it'll be somewhere between $50 and $100 per donation. Caporale hopes the extra change will be enough to inspire others. I feel so good being out there and watching other people give. The stipend program should be finalized by the end of this month, but if you plan to donate plasma before then, Rodriguez says hold on to proof because you could get retro pay. We have details right now on KSAT.com. Reporting in the newsroom, Devin Clark, KSAT 12 News.